Hello. This is a story about 10 little rubber ducks. Now maybe you have seen some rubber ducks when you went to a toy store and it's possible you might have even played with a rubber duck during bath time. Well, let's what, find out what happens to these 10 little rubber ducks. The author is Eric Carl. Well, he has some of these duck silhouettes numbered. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten little rubber ducks. Chuggity, chuggity, chuck goes the rubber duck machine. Out pop little rubber ducks, one after the other, one after the other. The little rubber ducks are painted, bills red and eyes blue. Then they are packed, tinned to a box. And off they go. To be loaded onto a cargo ship. Hello, says the captain. The captain and his cargo ship are taking the little rubber ducks across the wide sea to faraway countries, to faraway countries. Suddenly, a storm churns the water into big waves. A strong wind whistles across the sea, whistles across the sea. A big wave lifts up one of the boxes and throws it into the water. The box opens and 10 little rubber ducks fall out. 10 rubber ducks overboard, shouts the captain. 10 rubber ducks overboard. After some time, the storm calms down and the 10 little rubber ducks bob in the big wide sea. As far as one can see, only water and sky, water and sky. The 10 little rubber ducks begin to drift apart. The first little rubber duck drifts west. A dolphin jumps over it. The second little rubber duck drifts east and a seal barks at it. The third little rubber duck drifts north. A polar bear growls at it. The fourth little rubber duck drifts south. And a flamingo stares at it. The fifth Little rubber duck drifts to the left. A pelican chatters at it. The sixth little rubber duck drifts to the right. A turtle glides past it. The seventh little rubber duck drifts up 
an octopus blinks at it. The eighth little rubber duck drifts down and a seagull screeches at it. The ninth little rubber duck drifts this way. A whale sings to it. The tenth little rubber duck drifts that way, bobbing and floating on the big wide sea. The sun is setting. It's getting dark. As far as one can see, only water and sky, water and sky. The next morning, the tenth little rubber duck meets a mother duck and her ducklings. Quack, says the mother duck. Can you see the difference between the little rubber duck and the real ducklings? The little rubber duck is yellow. The real ducklings are brown. Quack, 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 say all the ducklings. At the end of the day, the sun sets again. It is getting dark. The mother duck and her ducklings swim towards their nest. The little rubber duck floats along with them. Good night, says the moon. Quack, says the mother duck. Quack, 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 say the ducklings. Squeak, says the little rubber duck. And this book is unique because it has a sound. When I press this, Did you hear that? Isn't that fun? So there's the story of the 10 little rubber ducks. Oh, you want to hear it one more time? There you go. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.